The desire to fly, to escape gravity's hold and sweep up into a wonder-filled sky lives in the heart of our human existence. Mythology from around the world reflects this desire through a rich array of characters striving to find flight's powerful freedom. Today, flight is one of humanity's greatest dreams come true. Thanks not to Western aviators or the Wright brothers as we might think, but to a few brave Muslim scholars who achieved the first manned flight and invented early flight technology. These pioneers included the 9th century polymath Abbas ibn Firnas from Cordoba and the 17th century Turkish inventors Hazarfen Ahmed Shalabi and Lahari Hassan Shalabi. The first and most famous was Abbas ibn Firnas, a gifted poet, astrologer, musician, astronomer and engineer, who was probably the first person to build a flying machine and fly it. There is evidence to suggest that he tried to fly as early as 852 CE by launching himself from the Great Mosque of Cordoba, but was unsuccessful. For the next 30 years, he pursued the secret of flight, closely observing the flight of birds and the movement of their wings. Finally, he realized that it was the shape of the wing, rounded above and hollow below, that created the force of lift and the secret of flight. It was chronicled that in 875 CE, at the age of 70, Abbas ibn Firnas attempted to fly again. His improved flying machine now consisted of a rigid framework of bamboo, tied with silk strips and covered with eagle feathers. He attached a harness and hand grips on the wing. The wingspan was sufficient to allow him to soar through the air and from a hill, Abbas ibn Firnas launched himself into history. He flew to a significant height and hung in the air for some time before plummeting to the ground, breaking the wings and one of his vertebrae. Later he realized that birds use their tail feathers to control their landing, but now, too old to try again, he would leave his discoveries to others to take to new heights. In 1630, Ahmed Celebi flew a glider across the Bosphorus River. After nine experimental attempts, he launched himself from the Galata Tower in Istanbul and successfully landed on the other side. Three years later, Lagari Hassan Celebi invented and piloted the first manned rocket. He launched himself using gunpowder as firing fuel under his chair and landed safely using an early parachute design. There were many others who over the centuries tested and experimented with similar and new ideas regarding manned flight, each one paving the way to modern aviation. In the 11th century, an English monk, Aylmer of Malmesbury, purportedly made a successful glider flight. In the late 1400s, Leonardo da Vinci created his famous sketches of fantastic flying machines, but never actually built or flew them. The Montgolfier brothers invented and flew the hot air balloon in Lyon, France in 1784. The 18th century Sir George Cayley pioneered glider flight in the West. The 19th century Otto Lilienthal of Germany, a renowned glider pilot, made a significant contribution to the field of aeronautics. The 20th century saw the dawn of a new age of flight, with the invention of the first sustained powered flight by the Wright brothers. This incredible human journey from a dream to the modern day reality of flight began with the genius, the faith and the courage of the scholars of the Islamic Golden Age. Those who followed benefited from these early insights and were inspired by the possibility awakened by the actions of an old man who launched himself from a hill 
to a sky with no limits.